Hey guys, there are so many ingredients you can use to prepare fried rice. I already have a detailed video on how to prepare the classic Nigerian fried rice. In this video, I'll show another set of ingredients I use to prepare fried rice with delicious results. You should try them and send me a feedback. Okay, I've already parboiled the rice. Cooked the chicken with my favorite seasonings to get the chicken stock. You can watch my turmeric rice video to see the details on how to do that. Here's the chicken stock. I add some water because I see that I will need more water. If you prepare a recipe a number of times, you will be able to tell these things by sight. Add Nigerian curry powder. This is what gives Nigerian fried rice its classic color. and the parboiled rice, that's the pre-cooked rice. Cover and let it cook on medium heat. If you parboil the rice correctly, it should be done when the water dries up. Stir and transfer it to another container immediately. This is so that the rice will stop cooking. If you leave it in the same hot pot, the rice will become too soft and stick together. You can see that I followed my science of cooking one pot Nigerian rice recipes. That's why there is no single burnt rice. These are the ingredients I will use. A small bowl of green peas, diced carrots and diced green beans diced onions red or white diced pork bits if you don't eat pork you can use cow liver nigerian curry powder salt vegetable oil diced red pepper this is not tatashio the rice we cooked earlier and sweet corn Pour a small quantity of vegetable oil into the pan some of you often ask me why i don't use a wok I don't have a wok, I don't see the need for it in my home. When hot, add the onions, fry for a bit. Add the pork bits and fry till you see signs of browning. Add the greens and carrots. Add the sweet corn and the red bell pepper and fry for a bit. Then add the rice. Fry, fry, fry till everything is well heated up. You can add salt and more curry powder at this time if necessary. And it's done! Pour it out into a pot and fry another batch the same way. Again, some people ask, why don't you fry everything at once and mix with the rice? 
you yourself said it mixed rice that's mixed rice and not fried rice it's the lazy way to prepare this recipe and once i taste it i will know that you prepared mixed rice instead of fried rice stop taking shortcuts give this video a thumb up if you prefer a well fried rice to mixed rice bye